Hello, everybody. Today we are going to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to be critiquing an Etsy shop, and hopefully you can take my advice and um, this critique and apply it to your own shop. Uh, obviously, all of the problems in this shop might not apply to your shop, and your shop might have other issues that this shop doesn't have. Um, so just comment your shop below if you want me to give you a free critique. I'm happy to do that. Um, and I'll post a video just like this and hopefully I can help you grow your shop. Okay, so as you can see, this is her, one of my friends, Jing. This is her Etsy shop. Um, she was asking me, why do not, I not have any views? Um, she's not even worried about sales yet. She is on the right track thinking about views first because um, views do come before sales. Um, so let's go ahead and do a little critique. Um, right off the bat, if she does start getting views, there's a few problems here that I think y'all might be able to identify. Um, she, well, we'll talk about the good first. She's got a good name. Um, it's Jeweltopia is cute. Um, her shop owner name applies to what she's doing. Um, Jing Jewelry, she's a jewelry designer. Her name's Jing, that's great. Um, she's offering free shipping. Um, she's got a few good things going on. However, there's a few red flags right off the bat. Um, if I was a shopper and I got into this shop, one of the things I originally notice um, is she has no picture here. Um, and Etsy also has the ability to um, put a banner up here of your work. I would have her do that so it's more visually stimulating and exciting when people get into her shop. Um, this is a brand new shop, so I give her a little leniency as a buyer. Um, you can see here 2019, so she just started this. Um, however, it's going to be really hard off the bat with zero sales here, um, no reviews, and what looks like an inactive shop. So she's going to have to go above and beyond on the design to really get this looking nice. Um, second red flag here is she only has two pieces of jewelry. Um, I would suggest a minimum of nine so that your main page is full. Um, but if you really want to get views, you're going to have to post as many things as possible. You'll, you'll hear about this on a lot of blogs and it's really is true advice. Um, I want to say I had posted about 25 pieces before I got my first sale. Um, and my shop, once I got to 100, listings my shop really started to take off and I got to 200 listings and you can imagine it's pretty exponential um, especially if these are all slightly different designs with slightly different keywords um, that's really gonna help you start to get viewed so I would suggest that she um, post more of her designs I know she has more designs um, and if you don't have more designs you only have a couple ideas this is the good opportunity for you to uh, go ahead and begin experimenting with your craft and coming up with new ideas because you maybe haven't designed your million dollar item yet and you won't until you sit down at your bench and really start cranking pieces out. Um, even if you're doing really well, you should always be creating new designs because uh, you don't know if you've created your best item yet. Um, so in regards to views, let's see. So her main keyword here, girl power necklace. All right, let's search. That's her, it's a good long tail keyword. Let's see how far down the search results she is. So if you type in girl power necklace, there are 1500 results here. Um, but it's a pretty good niche, I would say. Uh, there's probably a few more keywords she can be adding to that title, and we'll go over that in a minute. But you can go ahead and see that there's some pretty good, well-photographed items. Um, and you can use Control Find to try to find your item to see where you are on the list. So I see right off the bat she's not on the first page. With 1,500 results, I think it's doable if she gets her keywords a little bit better. Um, so we're gonna go to page two. Don't see it here on page two. 
Um, I have a feeling since she's new, it's probably on like the last page. So let's go ahead and test that real quick. Okay, she is not on the last page, which is good. But she's not on the first two, and that's what really matters. Okay, so she's not at the total end. And I'm not going to go through all of these because that'll take forever, but... Okay, so... Anyway, she's not on the first two pages. How do you get on the first page of even a niche that's not that big? It's not like she's trying to just target necklace, which probably has, let's see how many results that is. Five, like almost five million results. She's not just typing in necklace and hoping to get seen her. Girl power necklace is niche enough to where um, she can get on the first page. However, the key to getting on the first page is views, but how, it's kind of a catch-22. You have to get views to get on the first page, and you're not going to get any views unless you're on the first page. So how do you do that? So you're going to have to use other niches in your keywords. So you see right off the bat, she doesn't she hasn't used all of her keywords. Um, this 18 karat gold plating should not be in the title. That's something you could put in your materials down here. See where it says silver? She should have that next to it. Um, best gift, that is not, she's never gonna rank on that. That's probably got five million views as well. Um, so I would immediately off the bat take these out and then she needs to do some research on other keywords to fill up this space. Um, use all of the characters if you can. You can include gold to let people know the color. Um, a good keyword might be um, something gold necklace, like uh, girl power gold necklace or something like that. I would start researching feminist jewelry or political jewelry. Um, protest jewelry, I mean, whatever um, she's trying to make her statement about, um, and use all of those keywords in here. Um, and she should be able to start getting more views because she's not only relying on this one keyword, she'll be relying on seven, perhaps. Uh, all right, so she's got a good delivery time. That's pretty good for sales. And here's another problem here. Her description is almost completely empty. This is where you want to write a little story about your piece, write a story about yourself, really start to put a lot of keywords in the description because this Etsy search algorithm definitely pulls from the description as well. You can, whatever does, let's say you have more ideas than you can fit in your title you want to put that all in the description. Don't make it look spammy. Make it seem natural. Write it well. Um, this is not dead space. This needs to be everything you can include, including care. So this is a plated necklace. She's going to want to talk about how to take care of this. Like, don't get it wet. Um, how do you polish it? How do you store it? All that kind of information you could put in here. Um, she can tell her story and all that kind of stuff. She also hasn't filled out her frequently asked questions, which as a new shop, she might not have frequently asked questions, but this is a good place to re reiterate your policies, um, reiterate your materials or anything like that um, down here so it doesn't look as naked. Um, great, and then her other listing is a handmade piece. Same thing, figure necklace is kind of niche -y. let's see, figure necklace, it's, this is a little bit too big of a niche, 14,000, so she's going to want to do something like face figure necklace, like a three word long tail keyword that is a little bit more niche -y. Um, it could be a abstract figure necklace, yeah, not a lot of people are typing this in, but your goal is when someone does type that in, you're exactly what they're looking for. So for example, this is an abstract figure face necklace, um, but these aren't what I'm looking for at all. So I'm gonna be skipping over this stuff. I might click that. I'm gonna be skipping over a lot of this stuff because that's not what I'm looking for. But then I see her piece here and I'm gonna click it because it's relevant to what I'm trying to type in. And Etsy's search algorithm will favor relevancy so 
if you your piece matches your keywords, you're going to have a higher click rate, and that's going to get you to the first page of whatever your customer is looking for. All right, I think that ends our critique. Um, like I mentioned before, if anyone wants me to go over their shop, even if you're like Jing and you literally just made your shop yesterday, um, I'm happy to go over it and maybe there's something you've forgotten. Maybe there's something that wasn't a problem on her shop that might be a problem on yours. I'm more than happy to go over it and let you know what I think. Um, even if you're a well-established shop, I bet I have some advice to help you out, even if it's just a couple things. Um, so comment below and thanks for watching. Bye.